I just felt really guided to hop on today and just talk to you all a little bit about everything that's going on energetically. So many of us have been under some form of spiritual attack. And the message that I was getting today is to just like, don't worry, okay? Just hang on and know that you will get stronger. You will get stronger, okay? And you might be trying to figure out how to navigate this space right now, and that's okay. But just know that you will get stronger, okay? And you will be able to defend yourself spiritually. And it might not be through the traditional forms that you're used to, because I would feel very frustrated when people were telling me you have free will you have free will i mean there's no way that anything could violate you or infiltrate you because you have free will it's just not possible and i would sit here and i would go but that is actually happening that is exactly what's happening and what what that would do to me is it would make me want to give up because i would think oh free will is gone free will is gone what am i going to do now but today i'm getting the message that even those ways of thinking and belief systems are not truly accurate and what is happening to us might not fall within that space of everyone has free will that might not exist in this space where we are right now okay that energy might not be available but it doesn't mean that we're not protected okay it doesn't mean that there are other tools and gifts that we are getting from spirit to protect us that are moving us into a completely different space, okay? And so the message I was getting today is that we will get stronger, okay? You're gonna get stronger. So whoever needs to hear this today, you will get stronger and your gifts will improve and you will be able to ward this off, okay? And it is simply by bringing a lot of the spiritual warfare to the light through this mass awakening that we are truly able to rise through this darkness, through these agendas. And I have just felt really guided to just mention that the most strongest form of warfare that is going on right now is monarch mind control. And I have mentioned it quite a bit on my channel, but I do wanna just point out what it is, okay? It is an invasion through the sacred portal, okay? And through this invasion, okay, through that portal, a lot of people have referred to it as their Kundalini awakening. That's how they access your contracts. Those are your soul contracts. And through this military patent, they access your soul contracts and they infiltrate them, they infiltrate your life, okay? And that is also part of MK Ultra. It's something that we need to understand. So our bodies are sacred, our bodies are precious. And if you feel this type of infiltration going on into your system, which can be confused with feeling somewhat good and positive, know that the forces behind it are deadly, okay? and it's something we have to wake up to you need to pull your energy back from whoever's infiltrating you whoever's going near your sex organs energetically and you need to make sure you cut off all freaking ties to anything coming near you okay because that is the warfare that went after all the spiritual light workers in 2021 and they are continuing to do that and the minute you kick them out of your energy field that's how they try to get back in. They also work on you in the dream state. So however you can protect yourself while sleeping. Um, I have gotten a lot of these infiltrations are coming through invisible metal nanotechnologies. And so they have a lot of these techie beanies that protect from those type of nanobots. And the nanotechnologies is essentially what I guess violates your energy field it goes into your neural pathways and it's a it's basically a programmable technology and that is how certain people can infiltrate you subconsciously they can communicate to you that's a lot of the origin of the v2k device the voice to school device 
I would say a majority of targeted individuals are have the B2K device um, on their head, and that is like a space technology. So right now it is important that we understand the warfare so that we can shift the energy okay we could send it love um they are into cloning right now they're cloning our dna um cloning is a big part of the infiltration creating a cloned version of us and then infiltrating that cloned version of us as if it's our energy it's basically an imprinting system or a photocopying system of the dna so a lot of targeted individuals are i guess because we're victims we have to research this constantly but this is warfare that is going out to the masses. We are just the lab rats, okay, the targeted individuals. The cell phone towers are another really big form of the infiltration. I was also getting messages that the cell towers are not necessarily owned by the big dogs, okay, the big wireless companies anymore. I'm, I'm actually feeling there's a privatization going on with a lot of these cell towers. When you see these towers up with tree that look like trees and things like that, that there are companies that own a piece of that technology that can essentially be used to, I don't wanna say like infiltrate a person, but it is, okay? It, it is a form of, uh, these technologies are being used as a form of weapons, okay? And the more we can shine a light on the truth of this, you can send those technologies love energies, you can send them high vibrations, try to transcend the energies, but that's how a lot of the gang stalking and the V2K technology works and operates now. And there are a lot of huge firms, okay, private firms, organizations, people that have been working on this technology for a really, really long time, okay, because they knew how powerful it was, they knew what they could do with it. And now we are in this spiritual battle, okay, behind the veil. And the more we can awaken to the fact that it is a technology and that they have used it, they're using it as a weapon for the dark, then we can now awaken to the fact of, okay, how do we shift that energy? How do we move it into the light? How do we, how do we transcend that energy? How do we move that technology? Um, every day I feel I am in a form of warfare where I am having to figure out what they're doing next. They're always moving on to the next thing, the next thing, the next thing. I have to figure out where they are in space, what they're working on, what their projects are. And I know one thing, the enemy never sleeps, okay? They are in constant fear. They're in constant panic. Uh, for them, it means prison. For them, it means losing everything. And so we have to understand too, as a victim of this warfare, as light workers, that we do stand in the light, okay? And we do make a difference. And even through our voice and speaking out, speaking this truth out into existence and stopping them from gaslighting us, belittling us, or putting their mental illness on us when these technologies exist and have been proven and are being sold every day on the stock market for billions of freaking dollars. The entire NASDAQ is freaking technology companies, okay? Half of the freaking clients on the NASDAQ is Deloitte, okay? I mean, we're not gonna sit here and fall victim to their gaslighting or to their 1940s theories that there's something wrong with us when we are victims of legitimate proven technologies that they profit off of every single day, every single day. This is the hot stuff. This is the commodity. This is the AI. These are the top dog agendas, okay? So for us, people like me who speak out, we are huge threats, huge threats to them owning us, to their transhumanism agendas, to their freaking dehumanization agendas. And so the more we shine a light on it, they get scared because they have banked everything on this now, everything. So I just, for whoever needs to hear this message today, just know that you will be getting stronger. You might not be strong right now, but you will get stronger, okay? And have faith that you are protected, even if it seems like the initial universal laws are not applying to you at that moment in time. Know that you are protected and you're protected in your truth. You're protected in your voice. You're protected in sharing the information and helping the other people to awaken. 
So I will leave you guys there. If you guys are interested in a reading soul coaching session, I'm offering those on my website at soulpath.me. Um, thanks again for all of your support, love, blessings. I'm offering um, my Truth Warrior tees online. And I also have my Equality Justice tees, which is like the perfect time right now with Kamala VP running in as the presidential nominee for the Democratic Party. So um, definitely be sure to check those out. I have them available in all kinds of cute things like tie dye, freaking all different cuts now. Um, it's so to the point. It's so blatant. You know, it's a very simple message that is needed right now. So um, definitely be sure to check those out. And that would help me and support me greatly in my work. Um, and um, I send you guys so much love and blessings. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.